Hi guys, thank you for joining me. It's been a little bit since I've posted a video, but figured now is a good time. I'm actually away for work just overnight, so I have a nice little hotel room all to myself. It's nice and clean. They even put like a little seal on the door saying that it was cleaned, so that's cool. This week I got a bunch of scans scheduled. I have to go in for another MUGA scan to check my heart function. Uh, last time it was at 56% and something I didn't tell the doctor. I could kind of feel the stress on my heart, especially when I get a little stressed out. Uh, nothing bad has happened yet. Maybe I should have mentioned it. I don't know. But uh, I have that scan coming up. I also have an MRI of my hip. I have a CT scan of my lungs, and then I have another CT scan for something else. I totally forgot what it was for. I'm um, also having a mammogram, so I got that all scheduled. I have a follow-up appointment with the surgeon. I think it's next week. Uh, I have another appointment. I don't think it's until December for them to flush my port. This has to get flushed every four to six weeks. And I know after I get all my tests, I have a video appointment with my oncologist and then we'll discuss when we can remove this too. So hopefully it's soon. This thing really bugs. I'm so afraid that like something's gonna smack it too hard. I do have a two and a half year old and she has tons of energy and it doesn't feel too good when her head hits it. And I noticed the more my port has gotten used, I don't know if I could get a little closer so you guys could see it, but it's like real thin. You could see the little dots and they feel that before they stick anything in there so they can get in the center of it. It's power port. They use it for blood work. Chemo, I'm done with chemo. So that's awesome. I hope I'd never have to do that again because the first six rounds really sucked but they can also use it for CT scans and I think that's pretty much it. They don't want to overuse it because they don't want it to fail. So I think everything was going okay with it. I mentioned a little bit of pain a couple times, like I could just feel something. Maybe I slept weird, I don't really know, but I'll be super glad when that comes out because it. I guess, I don't know if it's attached to my jugular or if it's just by it, but that makes me a little bit nervous. Um, I think that's, that's pretty much it. I have a tank top on so you could actually see a little bit more. Let me hang you up here. But back in March is when I got my surgery. So they were supposed to fit me with the prosthetic, but since the whole state pretty much shut down, I couldn't do that. And the referral I had or whatever that thing is called, it ended up running out it expired yeah i could have called the doctor and got it redone but it was through nordstrom and i don't even know if they're open yet but i had a mastectomy on the left side and i used the little fiber fill thing that was in like a little pouch that was in the canisole that they gave me for after my surgery that held the it's called the little drainage thing but if you don't know me, like, you're not going to notice it. To me, it looks, I look normal. I know that it's there, it's fine, it doesn't weigh anything, just to have to kind of adjust it sometimes. But I actually have on a nursing bra, because it has little pockets, and then I put a safety pin in there. But, if you look at my armpits, <laughs> a little bit TMI, but yeah. This one is normal. This one, you could see like where they scraped out some of it because they had to get out some of those lymph nodes. So I don't know if the camera is doing a good job, but there's a hole on that side, kind of, little indentation. That side is just normal, it's fat, whatever. But you could see part of my scar too, for those of you who want to see it. But there's where the drainage was and the surgeon did a really good job. Even people commented, <laughs> that the healthcare professionals, like the doctors and stuff, commented that he did a really good job too. Really, really liked my surgeon. So that made a huge difference. If you're going through the same thing and you don't like your surgeon, get a different one, it's your surgery. And just tell them, hey, 
didn't like this one. Who, who else can I get? Because there was one <clears throat> for something else I wasn't really too fond of. He wasn't as caring. He was just blunt to the point. And I really liked the surgeon that ended up doing my mastectomy. So it's cool. I have a follow-up visit with him soon. I'm going to ask about reconstructive surgery. And then originally I wanted a double mastectomy. But he said that if, if I really wanted it then, he would have done it. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad that I had the one side first, and then it'll be preventative if I get the other side removed. There is a 10 to 12% chance that I will get cancer on the other side. But my question for him is, if we find a lump or something, I am getting a mammogram next month, but who knows, however many years down the line, can we just remove that whole side and we skip the biopsy? Or what are my options for that? The biopsy was excruciating. I do not ever want to go through that again. I would much rather just have the surgery if they can do that. So I will find out and I will keep you guys updated. But thank you all very much for watching. If you have any questions, whatever you want to ask, put them in the comments below and I'll answer your questions. If you want any advice, maybe what helped me go through all this, let me know. But super happy that I'm all done with chemo. And when I did have my doctor appointment last week, I asked if now was a good time to start like dieting a little bit, trying to get back into that and getting healthier. And she said, yes, I have had no restrictions for a while now. So that's good. Like as far as moving around, picking up stuff, it's, it's whatever feels okay with me. So that's awesome, but I'm looking forward to getting even more healthy, looking forward to having more time, more energy to play with my daughter, and I'm also looking forward to getting all these tests out of the way, because they're definitely not fun. It is interesting to hear the results and whatnot, but it's not fun. I hope my heart function is going back up and not down, which I would imagine it would start going back up because I'm done with chemo. But again, thank you guys. Leave your questions, comments, whatever in the comments and I will reply back to you. But thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you later.